stand-in captain Saranga Lakmal responded to the challenge of leading a depleted Sri Lankan team with two early wickets as the West Indies were reduced to 46 for 4 at T on the opening day of the day-night third and final test match at Kensington Oval in Barbados on Saturday. This is the first day-night test to be played in the Caribbean and the 10th overall since the first such fixture between Australia and New Zealand in Adelaide in 2015. Appointed to lead the tourists with regular captain Dinesh Chandamal suspended for the match after being found guilty of ball tampering during the second test in St. Lucia, Lachmal swiftly dispensed with West Indies openers Devon Smith and Craig Brathwaite on a grassy pitch. Lahiru Kumara, Sri Lanka's top bowler of the series, then removed Kieran Powell cheaply as well to have the home side reeling at 8 for 3. A one-hour break for rain offered some respite to the home batsman but when play resumed Kasun Rajitha followed up on an encouraging debut win the second test by dismissing Rostin Chase immediately upon coming into the attack. Shai Hope and Shane Dowrich will carry the battle for the West Indies into the second session as they seek to engineer a recovery during a period of play which based on the experience of the previous nine-day night tests played over the past three years, is considered the most challenging for batsmen at twilight against the pink ball. Lakmal, the first seamer ever to lead Sri Lanka in a test, wasted no time in making the most of the sporting track after the West Indies won the toss and chose to bat. Smith stabbed at the last delivery of the first over and Donna Jaya da Silva showed a safe pair of hands to come up with the catch at third slip. Danushka Ganathilaka, brought in effectively as Chandimal's replacement in the middle order, then showed good athleticism in sprinting in from cover point and diving forward to take the catch millimeters from the turf as Brathwaite could not control a delivery from Lakmal which lifted sharply. Kumara was also grateful for the support from his fielders when Kuzo Mendes held a good low catch at second slip when Powell pushed at a full-length delivery without covering the ball properly. Then, after impressing with an expansive cover-driven boundary before the rain break, Chase was bowled in Rajitha's first over, dragging a delivery onto his middle stump. Off-spinning all-rounder Dilruan Perea, who has replaced Akila Dan and Jaya in Sri Lanka's other change from the drawn second test, bowled the final over of the session but it is expected that the visitors will be relying heavily on their three seamers in the second period of play as they seek to lay the foundations for a series-leveling victory. Any thoughts of recalling Rangana Harith for this final match of the tour ended on Friday when the experienced left-arm spinner split the webbing in his bowling hand during catching practice. Catch up on all the latest T20 news and updates here. Also download the new midday Android and iOS apps to get latest updates. This story has been sourced from a third-party syndicated feed, agencies. Midday accepts no responsibility or liability for its dependability, trustworthiness, reliability and data of the text. Midday management slash mid-day.com reserves the sole right to alter, delete or remove, without notice, the content in its absolute discretion for any reason whatsoever.